These diagrams are sometimes referred to as magic spectacle diagrams. We can't really see atoms, but we can use a key to try and represent them on paper. So if we take a look at the picture, particle pictures below and we look at the key, we can try to make some sense out of what we've been given over here. So these particles over here seem to look a lot like those ones over there. So this is probably carbon. Then we have got over here a solid and the open circle. So it looks like copper and oxygen. So it's probably, and then a one-to-one -one ratio, so it's CuO. Then we have got two of these almost open but slightly shaded things over there, which look something like that. I'm going to say that those look like they're gas because the particles are far apart, and that's O2. Over here, we've got the open circle and then two of the small solid dot, and the small solid dot is hydrogen, so that looks a lot like H2O, quite close together. And here's some more H2O, but in between the H2O, there's something else. There's something else there, and that's this wavy one over here, and the dotted one. So that looks like NaCl. So it's probably some salt dissolved, NaCl is table salt, dissolved in some water. So let's see what the questions ask us here. Write down only the letter of which box or boxes show an element. Elements on their own, only one type of atom. So those are the two over there. So box A and box C. A compound, we've got copper oxide. That's two elements together, so that's a compound. And water is H2O, so that's a compound. A mixture, we have got two different types of particles in there, is going to be E. Solids are when the particles are very, very close together, so that's A and B. Gases are when the particles are very, very far apart, so that's definitely C. But you could have an argument for D. E, we happen to know that salt in water is a liquid. So water all by itself is D. And atoms all on their own, so this is an atoms. This is little molecules. So if I want to see atoms all by themselves, just atoms, I'm going to be looking at just the carbon atoms over there, which is A. Here's another key. Um, we've got, there's the key over there, and they say use the below key to draw the three substances given in the phases that they've been given to you. Now you learned last year about the phases and what they should look like. So the first one is we have got to do O. I'm going to make the O's pink, um, and I'm going to say water, and it's got to be in a liquid, so I'm going to need them to be fairly close together, but not right on top of each other, with some hydrogens, and I'm going to make those blue. And notice how I've put them at the bottom of the container, and we could say that that was water as a liquid. How about carbon dioxide? I'm going to make the carbon green, and it's a gas, so the particles have to be far apart. And then it's two oxygens, carbon dioxide, and another one far apart from that, carbon dioxide. Then we've got sodium chloride as a solid, so I'm going to make that blue with waves, and we'll make this green with dots. So I've got to pack those as a solid, so I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five. They need to be right next to each other. I'm going to put little waves in them, because that's what we have for the sodium. The chloride is one, two. Notice that my solid is nice and neatly at the bottom of the container and I'm putting some dots in there. So I'm showing the phase and I'm showing how that key can be represented as molecules. Then using the same key, tell me what these things are over here. Well I've got the little circles over here and little dark circles, so that's two little packs of H2. And over here, I've got the little circle with a big circle that has dots inside it. So that is going to be an H and a Cl, hydrochloric acid or hydrogen chloride. Um, these particles look fairly far apart, so I could say they were a gas. These ones I could say were either a gas or a liquid. And I might even get away with hydrogen being a liquid because they're quite close together. But I do know that hydrogen is a gas. And then here, again, I've been given that same diagram where I've re-represented them a little bit more neatly than I can with a stylus.